Oh. Okay, bad news. One of my birds has officially escaped uh, the pigeon loft. It's one that's not trained. It's not supposed to be out. Uh, there it is, right there, as you can see on this side of the wire, not inside. Uh, so we got ourselves a problem. Oh, oh, holy cow. Oh, oh man. <laughs> well, I didn't catch the bird. Dang, go. Oh. <laughs> holy cow. Good gosh. There's the bird sitting there on that tree limb. Oh my gosh, I ate it. I had no idea that the ground was so soft. Man, I hope I got that on camera. Do y'all see the bird there? There it is right there. Man, that kind of hurt. Holy cow. Dang. This pigeon stuff dangerous, y'all. All right, so that was my first attempt at catching the bird, and clearly that didn't go so well because he's sitting right uh, there uh, on the corner of that building, and I'm completely covered in mud from head to toe. Should have known better to go with the bull rush technique you can't really tell on here, but this is actually pretty steep. So my idea was that I was going to get him up against the wire between the ground and the landing board there, and I'd just be able to snag him. I've done it a couple times, but never when the ground is so wildly soft like this. So anyway, now I'm covered in mud, and I got a pigeon out on top of the roof. Uh, I might have to get Jess. I might have to call in for reinforcements, but y'all stick with me. I think I, I got an idea. New plan. I'm going to feed everybody in here. As you can see, everybody is nice and hungry, waiting to get fed. And I'm gonna feed everybody in the other side of the loft. And then hopefully, oh, y'all can't see him. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's right outside of the loft there, sitting on a bowl of wire. He knows he needs to get in here. He just doesn't know how, because he hadn't been trained. Anyway, I'm gonna feed everyone in here. I'm gonna feed everyone out there. I'm gonna take a feeder that he's used to eating out of outside, set it down on the ground. Hopefully he'll go in there, eat, and I can snatch them, or better yet, I might get a net. But that's the plan as of right now. I'd expect when I feed these birds, he'll go crazy because he's he's super hungry. By the way, I'm completely covered in mud uh, all down my back and jeans and everything. So I'm uh I'm in this one for real now. Um, I'm gonna catch that bird. There's no doubt about it. First though, y'all check out some of these nests that are being built. I mean, that is just awesome right now. Leaves, twigs, pine needles. Not much on this level and not much on that level, but look at this right here. We got another good nest coming over here. And then all these over here are looking half decent as well. That pair's ready to go. So hopefully we're gonna get some eggs here soon. But anyway, back to the issue. Right, there's the escape bird there. And now he, here's me feeding all of his buddies. So now they're all eating as they should be. Well, that's a good shot of them eating there all on one side like that. And there he, or she, I should say she, it's a hen bird, just sitting there looking stupid. So I'm gonna take that, one of them feeders outside and set it down, maybe here on this landing board and see if I can't just get her to walk in uh, through these barbs on this landing board. I think I might try that. But anyway, Thank y'all for coming with me on this journey. Look, it going the wrong way now. Oh my gosh. Well, there it goes. All right, we're getting some activity. See, see, look now. All right, I'm gonna change my plan. I'm gonna change my plan. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out there and since she's so interested in the food, oh yeah, I'll get her against this wire for sure. All right, I'm not gonna be able to film this. Actually, yeah, I will be. All right, y'all just stick All with right, me. All right, y'all check this out. I swear, I'm a genius. I set these rolls of wire down here to deter predators, uh, not knowing that it would come completely in handy to trap pigeons that have gone rogue. This bird wanted to get to its feed over there. So it found the easiest way to get in these spools of wire, which there was a little break right there where it's standing. It hopped in there. By the way, I opened that up. It hopped in there and got in close and then I just shut the wire. Now the pigeon's trapped. I got a box on this end I got a log on this end, literally pigeon trapped. I, you can't make this up. I'm the best. I'm the best at this stuff. 
All right, y'all, I opened the side of that box down there, so hopefully I can just walk it on into that box. Oh, hopefully I'm filming good enough because I'm just looking at the bird. Oh no, oh no, dang. All right, problem. This gets too narrow down here for a bird to go in there. So I'm gonna have to just separate this wire and go bare hand style. All right, y'all, here we go. They don't teach this stuff in schools. Let's go! <laughs> All right, y'all, as you can see, I caught the bird, or as you just watched, so that was awesome. But um, anyway, I thought that this was just a bird that I hadn't trained yet. That was one of my young birds I'd had last year that I didn't have a band for that I just didn't train. Uh, that was in my flyer loft, because see, I've been in Gatlinburg for the past four days, so my buddy John Knight, shout out John Knight, has been uh, hanging out with my birds and taking care of all my animals and stuff. Well, he was letting my flyers out, uh, you know, just for them to pleasure fly, basically. And this guy was on that side of the loft, or girl, I should say. Uh, I thought that because it was hanging around, it was just a bird I hadn't trained yet. Well, it turns out it's a bird that I got from someone else. And I don't know if y'all can see that that well. That was born in 2019 that actually raced for someone else. So a lot of people say when a homing pigeon has been trained, you know, if it gets out of another loft, it's going to go back to that loft that it was originally born in or trained at. Well, this bird kind of disproves that theory because this bird's been around since 2019. It's 2023. This thing is almost four years old, maybe, you know, if it was an early hatch. And um, it got out with my flyers, which is no big deal. And rather than just taking off for the hills, that thing stuck around, flew around. As you can see, I couldn't grab it. And I snatched it. So uh, really cool that it stuck around. And what that tells me is that I, I'm feeding them right. I'm treating them right. It wants to hang around. And maybe that she's paired up with someone in my flyer loft. But anyway, cool little uh, sequence of events that happened today. Really excited that this is just a 2019 bird, one that wasn't raised here. And it still stuck around. Just super neat thing. Also really good that it didn't uh, get sn snagged by any hawks or anything like that. So anyway, if you like what you saw, like and subscribe, uh, comment on this, you know, share it with your friends and family. But anyway, super excited I caught this bird and thankful for all y'all watching. Have a great week.